So I continue to explore the session management within Google uh, Agent Development Kit. And uh, this is the part two of the exploration. Uh, exploration. Uh, so in this one, I will uh, demonstrate how the events and the state within a session is uh, uh, handled. So within a session, a state acts like the scratch pad for the interaction. So the state, I can, the agent or the user, right? Uh, I'll, I'll say user of the model, right? Because there is a two roles that you can uh, specify either a user or a model. So the state can be updated by the user or the model as the conversation is going on and the event holds the history of the interaction right and we'll see a demonstration of this right so here what i'm i did is i uh i'm creating my model with gpt 4o then created a math agent the instruction to this math agent is you are an excellent math teacher and the output key equal to final result. What this means is when the the uh, when the math agent will respond finally, right? The state will have a key called final result. I'll just put it here. Like it'll be the key will be the final result, and the final result will hold the. Uh, like whatever the state delta is for uh, the conversation, right? And now I am setting up the runner and the session. So app name, user ID, session ID. I'm mentioning what is app name, user ID, and the session ID is. I'm creating an in-memory session service. So if you look at my other uh, previous video, I said like there is a session object and there is a session service that manages the session object and then this is that session service right so i create a runner uh, agent is a math agent app name and the session service is the in memory session service right so the first thing i do is i create a session with the app name user id and the session id and i print the initial state initial session state will be nothing right because nobody has started writing into the state then I will run the agent. While I run the agent, the runner handles the append event. In my previous video, you'll see that I, I showed how you can call the session service to uh, append event. But here, the runner automatically does the uh, event append, right? And it also creates, a, it also manages the state, right? So the first thing that I do is now I um, create a user message with what will be the sum of five and six and the role is user, right? So this is the question that will ask to the LLM, the math agent, right? Who is a uh, excellent math teacher, right? So this is the user message, right? This user message is I'm passing it to the session now as a new message, right? So when you say runner dot run, so if I click on the run, right, you'll see user ID session ID new message. Right? That's what it takes. User ID is the user ID of the session. Session ID is the session ID of the session, and new message is a new message to append to the session, right? This is the user message, right? Then I run the runner and I print the events. So when I print the events, you'll see that there are uh, two events that uh, um, we will see here, right? So, so I'm printing the event and if it's a final response, I'm saying the agent has responded, right? So now the session has been updated, both the events and the states are updated, right? After this, then I want to see now how the updated session looks like. So in the, from the session service, Right. If you remember in memory service, I do a dot get session, get the session object, and then I print the session ID, app name, user ID, and the state. Then I um, uh, like retrieve the events from the session. 
there will be two events right uh, let me not print this so now for each event i am uh, now uh, printing the event content the event content role event invocation id you'll see the event invocation id will be same for both the events the event author the event final whether it's a final response or not then the actions like right? so what is the actions as part of the event what is the state delta of that action right um so this would be okay so let me put it like this we'll see the actions and the action state delta as well both right and this one i don't need right so let me run this right then it will be very clear right so when i run this now we'll see that okay so if i yeah it is coming up okay so the initial state is empty right initial state i created here right initial state is empty this is where i use the session service to create the session right then the agent responded this is where the agent responded it created the event but let's not uh, look at it because we are going to look at the events right so after this the session has been updated right now i am getting the updated session right this is the updated session right and now i am printing the session id app name user id and this is the final state right the final state as i mentioned when since i said the output key as um, where did it go uh, i put the output key as final result right so the output came here as final result now each of the events right i'm printing each of the events from the retrieved modified session right so this is where i'm doing it right here for event in events printing the event number one right this is the event content so if you see here the event content would be the user message right what will be the sum of five and six role equal to user right uh, event content role is user, inv invocation ID is this, event author is the user, event final response is true, and the event action state delta, there is no state updation right now, right? The state is empty so far. This state will be updated with the final result uh, by the model, right? Uh, so there is state delta is empty. The second event is now generated by the model right so the invocation id will be same right but here if you see now um it got the text uh, so uh, this is the uh, answer from the uh, agent right the sum of five and six is 11 this is what it updates into the state delta this is the final response true right even content role is the model and the event author is the uh, math agent because the agent name is math right this is where i said name is math right so this is how it works just to summarize a session what we saw is in the session there are two things right one is the event one is a state the state is provided as a temporary store as a scratch pad for the agent and the user interaction uh, like the dynamic details are updated in the state but the event holds the history of the uh, interaction, right? So we had two events. This was the event uh, with the user message. At that time, state delta, there is no state update. Event two is the model uh, answer, but at that time, the model answered with the final result, which updated the state delta. Right now, this thing I can like I since I use in memory serv uh, state service, I'm uh, uh, once I close the application, it will it will go away. But I can um, store it um, if I use a. Uh, there are two types of uh, the three types of uh, session service. I used in memory service, but there is a 
database uh, memory uh, database session service as well as a vertex ai session service which will store the events and uh, i can do time travel to the event the episodic memory and all this thing all the other things that i mentioned in my previous uh, recording right but this is how the session management works in uh, adk thank you